Welcome to the video solution of the exercise screening one. In this exercise we are going to calculate the influence of a grounded metallic plane on the repulsion of two electrons in the vicinity of the plane. We are going to use two different methods to solve the problem. In the problem set we are given a schematic that looks like this. Two electrons, labeled as 1 and 2, that are at a distance x from each other, are at a distance d from a grounded metallic plane. We have to calculate the component of the repelling force of the electrons along the x prime direction in the presence of the grounded plane. The potential at the grounded plane needs to be zero. In addition, the electric field needs to be perpendicular to the surface of the grounded plane. Therefore, we can use the concept of mirror charges to solve the electrostatic problem. The mirror charges have to be opposite sign and also at the distance d from the grounded plane. So the electrostatic problem of these four charges without the ground plane has the same solution in the region below the grounded plane as the initial problem with the grounded plane. So by introducing this method of mirror charges we simplified the problem. The first solution method is now to calculate the forces on one of the electrons due to the electric field of the other charges including the mirror charges. So first of all we're going to calculate the force vectors. As both electrons have the same separation from the ground plane, it is sufficient to calculate the repulsive forces on one of the electrons and in the following we're gonna choose um, electron 2. So as a first step we calculate the repulsive force by electron 1 on electron 2. The magnitude of the force is given by this term here where it's enough to consider just the magnitude because the force um, is just along the x direction. So it's given as minus the electron charge times the magnitude of the electric field and um, so the result is proportional to 1 over the distance x squared. As we are only interested in forces along the x prime direction we do not need to consider the force um, on electron 2 by its mirror charge because this does not have an x prime component. So the next um, force that we um, consider is the force um, by um, the mirror charge of electron 1 acting on uh, electron 2. So this is the result. Um, the attractive force by the mirror charge of electron 1 has uh, both an x um, and an y component. As we are only interested in the um, total force along the x direction, we just uh, need to sum up this term here as well as the x component of um, our force um, by the electron 1 mirror charge. So um, by doing this um, uh, we get the following result. In the equation for the total force along the um, x prime direction 
um, we can directly see um, the influence of the of the uh, grounded plane because um, if we did not have this grounded plane here we would only get this term here and um, so only the the, the force um, acting on electron 2 due to, due to electron 1. But um, now due to this grounded plane we had to introduce the, the, the mirror charges and this results in an attractive force on on electron 2 so the total force along x prime is reduced um, by this um, factor here. Um, so um, we can say that um, the screening due to the ground plane reduces the repulsive uh, electron electron interaction. This was now the first method to solve the problem. Um, for the second method we're gonna consider um, Green's function. Green's function g of r and r1 describes the electrostatic potential at r that is created by a unity point charge placed at position R1. So in our case, the potential due to electron 1 and its mirror charge have to be considered. Therefore, we obtain the following two Green's function. So these are the two Green's functions that um, stem from unity charges placed either for this term um, here at the position of electron 1 or for this term at the position of the mirror charge of electron 1. So um, to basically uh, calculate the um, electric field um, one can use the following equation E of R is given as minus the gradient of phi of r. So if we now replace the unity charges by the actual charges um, given in the problem, minus gradient phi of r is given as E times the gradient of g of r r1 plus minus because um, we have a different sign of the charges of electron 1 and its mirror charge so we have minus g of r r1 plus this should be minus here so um, by using this uh, expression for the electric field uh, we can directly calculate the force um, on electron 2. So what we have to calculate is the force at the position x prime equals x and y prime equals 0 which is just given as minus the electron charge times um, the electric field um, at uh, position x0 um, and um, so by using this um, equation here this is equal to minus e squared um, gradient in x prime direction of g of r r1 minus minus g of r r1 plus So what we uh, need to do is to dif basically differentiate these two equations with uh, respect to x prime and evaluate them at y prime equals 0 and x prime equals x. So um, we uh, obtain the following expression. So this is uh, the result um, for the force. And you can see that it is exactly the same as what we derived before with the other method. Now for um, x being much larger than 2d we can ex tailor expand this term here 
um, such that we um, obtain the following um, approximate um, expression for the force. You can see the final result here, um, where um, we can again easily see the influence of the ground plane, um, which comes into play because of um, this term here, uh, which will reduce the uh, repulsive um, electron-electron interaction due to the screening.